First off, I'm taking a dishwashing sponge that I have cut into little pieces. I will be using this to apply my liquid latex. This has the same effect as a stipple sponge, but because the latex will ruin the sponge, it's much cheaper to use a dishwashing sponge instead. The latex I'm applying is supposed to look like the scraped skin around the actual knuckle wounds. Wait for the latex to dry and apply another layer. I'm using a Q-tip to apply a small patch of latex on my knuckles. If you're going for a dramatic look, I suggest you apply it on all of your knuckles and cover most of the knuckle area. I went for the subtle look, so I'm keeping the latex areas rather small. While the latex is still wet, you want to take a toothpick and start removing some of the latex in the middle. The latex will stick to itself while it's drying, making it easier for you to remove it. Stay away from the edges and just go into circular motions. The latex patches will start to look as if your skin was ripped. Don't wait too long or the latex will be too dry to rip apart. You can always add some extra patches afterwards, or if you made a mess and you want to remove a patch, you simply pull it off. The layers of latex you add and the amount of ripped skin you want to show is up to you. I looked up real knuckles for this tutorial and they all looked really different. Some looked dramatically bloody, but since I like the more realistic look, I kept it simple. Now wait for the latex to dry and apply some translucent powder. This step is optional. Take a bright red grease paint. You will need this to make the skin look irritated. I'm not showing this on camera, but I'm dabbing a sponge into the paint and wiping off most of it on a paper towel. I have very little product on my sponge when I'm applying it on my skin. I then took a dark brown grease paint. You can also use black. I'm applying this inside the knuckle wounds to give slightly more depth for when I add the blood. My favorite part is adding the blood. I'm using the same dishwashing sponge as I used before, this will give a better texture. The reason why I'm loving this blood at the moment is because when I blend it into my skin, it makes it look more irritated rather than it looking like smudged blood. 
I've listed the products below so you can check out the blood that I'm using right now. You can add some thick blood into the knuckle wounds to add more texture. I don't really like the one I used because it looks too bright. That's why you can see me smudge it. Last up I'm adding some more blood. The blood and the amount of knuckle wounds you want to add is what makes it more or less dramatic. You could also add some bruising if you really want to go all out. I've included a shot of me modeling my hand and as you can see it doesn't look that crazy bloody. I hope you guys liked this tutorial, special shout out to Deanne for requesting it. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests you can leave a comment below and see you until next time. Bye!